Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang resultant of moments. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang resultant of moments. So, meron na akong previous videos about moments in 2D as well as in 3D. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, isiling ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Kasi lahat ng natutunan natin doon is gagamitin natin dito. So, dito sa resultant of moments, hanapin lang natin yung pinaka-resultant or sum ng mga moments within a body. So, both in 2D and 3D. Just like in forces, right? Meron tayong... Uh, resultant forces acting on a body. So, pwede rin tayong magkaroon ng resultant ng moments. Setting equivalent ng mga moments na involved dun sa isang body. Okay? So, sabi, for two-dimensional problems where all the forces lie within the XY plane, the resultant MR at O about point O, the Z-axis can be determined by finding the algebraic sum of the moments caused by the forces in the system. Okay, so yun na nga. Kung meron tayong isang body that is on the XY plane, kasi ito din lang tayo, tapos may nag a sa kanya na different moments, let's say ito yung uh, given forces natin, yung F1, F2, F3, at meron silang moment arm, D1, D2, D3 respectively, pwede silang mag-cause ng moment. At... Para mahanap yung resultant ng moments, add natin lahat ng mga moments na ipoproduce nitong bawat forces na involved. Okay? So, we have the formula, resultant moment at O. So, we have the sign convention, right? Just like doon sa video ko in uh, moments in 2D. So, yung sign convention natin, tayo mag assign So, kung clockwise positive, lahat ng mga forces na may clockwise effect in terms of the moment is positive then negative sa mga counterclockwise. So, kapag nag a tayo ng moment in 2D, kinoconsider natin yung sign. So, base dito sa figure, pag sinamap natin yung moment or yung summation ng FD, we have negative F1, D1. Kasi base dito, itong F1 is nagpo-produce ng counterclockwise moment. So, negative F1, D1 siya. 10 plus F2, D2. So, ito yung F2. So, this time, positive siya kasi plus. Kasi nga, yung moment na mapoproduce niya is clockwise this time. And then, minus F3, D3. So, negative si force F3, yung moment niya. Kasi, kasi dito sa figure, magpoproduce siya ng counterclockwise moment. Okay, so, mahalaga na i-take note niyo yung sign ng bawat moment na mapoproduce ng isang force. Okay? Now, for three dimension naman, if a body is acted upon by a system of forces, the resultant moment of forces about point O can be determined by the vector addition of the moment of each force. Okay, so kunyari, meron tayong body dito, tapos meron tayong nag act na forces na F1, F2, F3, then meron silang respective position vector R1, R2, tsaka R3. Makukuha natin yung... Uh, moment ng bawat force na to by applying yung cross product for moments, right? And then, para makuha yung pinaka resultant moment, i-add lang natin yung bawat moment vectors na nakuha natin for force 1, force 2, tsaka force 3. Okay? So, therefore, we have resultant moment R at O is equal to summation ng R cross F is equal to R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2 plus R3 cross F3. So, dito sa figure, ito yung resultant moment at O ng dalawang forces na ito. Sa so, mahalaga lang dito na marunong tayo maghanap ng pinaka vector R tsaka force vector para mahanap natin yung mismong moment nila by taking their cross product. Okay? And then, add lang natin lahat ng mga involved na moments para makuha natin yung resultant. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung paghanap ng resultant moment ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first problem, we have... Determine the resultant moment of the four forces acting on the rod as shown below about point O. Okay, so meron tayong body which is this rod. Tapos, hanapin daw natin yung moment ng four forces involved. Itong 15 newton, itong 16 newton, itong 20 newton, tsaka 14 newton force. Hanapin natin yung moment nila about point O. So, it is moment in 2D lang. Okay? So, Summation of moment, or yung pinaka-resultant moment natin, 
at O will be, so mag-a-assign tayo ng sign convention, right? So, let's say, positive moment kapag clockwise. So, isa-isay natin yung forces. So, dito muna tayo sa 15 newton. So, it is downward. So, therefore, meron siyang direct moment arm or perpendicular distance from the moment center O, which is itong given na 2. So, ang moment niya is force times moment arm, right? So, 50 times 2. Ano yung sign? So, dahil downward siya, ang tendency is, ang moment niya is clockwise, right? So, therefore, positive. Okay? Plus, dito naman sa 16 newton. So, mapapansin nyo, itong 16 newton, yung line of action niya is nagpa-pass through dito sa moment center O. So, therefore, basa dun sa video ko about uh, moments in 2D or even in 3D, kapag yung line of action ng force ay nagpa-pass through dun sa moment center, is ang moment niya is 0. So, we have 0 moment for the 16 newton force. And then, meron pa tayong dalawa, si 20 newton at si 40 newton. So, dito muna tayo sa 20 newton. So, makapansin nyo, yung ating 20 newton force is a horizontal force going to the right. Right? So, ano ngayon yung moment arm niya mula dito sa moment center? Oh, so, parang ito siya right. Okay? So, makapansin nyo, meron tayo mabubuang right triangle. etong hypotenuse bale is itong 3 meter etong leg na to, tsaka itong leg na to. Which is, meron tayong given angle na to na 30 degree. So, ang kailangan natin is yung moment arm na to nung 20 newton. Let's say D1. So, paano natin mahanap? Using definition of sine, right? Because itong D na to will be sine 30 degree is equal to D over 3. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, therefore, ano si D? D1. D1 is 3 sine 30 degree. So, we have... So, ano mo ng sign pala bago natin multiply yung force sa moment arm? So, dahil yung force is going to the right, ano yung direction ng moment niya? Counter clockwise. So, therefore, minus. So, minus yung 20 newton times yung moment arm na 3 sine 30 degree. Okay? Ano pa? Itong 40 newton force. So, bale yung line of action ni 40 newton force is ito. So, therefore, yung distance ng line of action from moment center O is itong length na to. Which is, itong part na to given, right? 2 meter plus 2 meter 4. Plus, ito pang length na to. Which is, using this right triangle ulit, makukuha natin by definition naman ng cosine. So, cosine 30 degree is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So, let's say dito naman. So, D2 over hypotenuse na 3. So, therefore, D2 is 3 cosine 30 degree. Okay. So, bali yung pinaka-moment arm niya is itong D2 na 3 cosine 30 degree plus yung 4 meter. So, ano ngayon yung direction ng moment ni 40 newton? Dahil downward for siya, clockwise. So, positive. So, plus 40 times 4 plus 3 cosine 30 degree. Okay? So, using calculator, ang masasolve natin value dito is 334, the unit is newton meter. So, dahil positive siya, nag-confirm siya dito sa ating sinet na sign convention, yung pinaka-direction ng ating resultant moment is clockwise din. So, kung negative man nakuha natin dito, ibig sabihin, opposite yung magiging direction natin, clock, uh, counterclockwise. Okay? So, since positive naman yung final answer, nag-confirm siya dito sa sign convention. So, clockwise yung ating final resultant moment. Okay? Next, we have two forces act on the rod shown. Determine the resultant moment they create about the flange at O. Express the result as a Cartesian vector. Okay, so this time, meron na tayong moments in 3D. Meron na tayong XYZ plane. So, meron daw tayong rod dito na merong two forces na nag a Itong F1 at point A, tapos itong F2 at point B. So, actually, given na yung pinaka-Cartesian vector ng F1 at F2. So, malili na lang siya kasi ang kulang na lang natin para mahanap yung pinaka-moment is iyong relative vector R. So, hanapin natin yung R1 for force F1 at R2 for 
force F2. Para makuha natin yung moment ni F1 na let's say M1 is equal to R1 cross F1. Tapos yung moment ni force 2. So, M2 is equal to R2 cross F2. Para yung pinaka-resultant moment natin, R at O, is equal to M1 plus M2. Which is parehong in Cartesian vector na. Okay? So, hanapin natin muna yung R1. So, from the definition, yung position vector R is lagi nagsisimula doon sa ating moment center, which is this case is itong origin, itong point, alright? Patungo doon sa any point dun sa line ng action ng force. So, since ito yung ating force F1, ito yung line of action niya, at nag a dito at point A, pwede natin gamitin yung end point ng R1 niya na A. Kasi meron tayong coordinate dito na may dimension tayo na actually nasa y-axis lang siya. So, therefore, yung point A natin is at 0, comma, ilang units siya from the origin. Itong dimension na to, yung 5 feet, right? So, 5 and then 0 si Z. So, bale yung starting point ni R1 is yung origin, 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. So, pag kinuha natin yung vector R1, ano siya? So, point to si A, tapos point 1 si origin. So, X1, Y1, Z1, and si A is X2, y2, z2. So, we have uh, x2 minus x1. So, 0 minus 0 is 0, i, plus y2 minus y1. So, 5 minus 0 is 5, j, plus z2 minus z1. 0 minus 0 is 0, k. So, parang 5, j lang. Kasi nga, yung r1 is along the y-axis lang naman. So, r1 is equal to 5, j. Okay? Ano naman si R2? So, dito tayo sa line of action ni F2 ito. Which is nag a dito sa uh, point B. So, pwede natin gamitin end point ni R2 is itong point B. So, from origin O, ito si R2. So, by the way, ito si R1. Okay? So, si R2, bali, is kuhan muna natin itong point B. So, meron siyang coordinate na. So, sa X, meron siyang 4 feet. Right? So, 4. And then, sa so y, 5 feet then So, 5. And then, sa so z, below siya sa origin. Right? So, therefore, negative sisi niya. Ilan? 2 feet. So, negative 2. Okay? So, using yung relative position vector, we have, ito si point B, yung point 2. So, x2, y2, z2. So, si r2, bali, is equal to x2 minus x1. So, 4 minus 0 is 4. I plus Y2 minus Y1, 5 minus 0, so 5J plus Z2 minus C1 is negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. So, minus 2K. Okay, so ito na si vector R2. So, makukuha natin yung pinaka-moment nila, yung force F1 tsaka force F2. So, moment 1 is equal to cross ni R1 tsaka ni F1. So, we have R1 is simply 5J, right? Cross, ano si F1? So, copy ko na lang. Okay. Plus, moment ni force 2. So, R2 cross F2. So, ito si R2, right? So, we have 4i plus 5j minus 2k. Then, cross si F2. Copy ko na lang. Okay? And then, gamitin natin yung mnemonic, yung determinant to find the cross product of vector. So, for M1, we have determinant ng... So, mahalaga na panood nyo na yung video ko about uh, moments in 3D para masabayan nyo itong ginagawa ko dito. I, J, K. Then, yung element ni R1 sa second row, we have... 0, 5, 0, and then yung element ni force 1 sa third row. So, negative 60, 40, 20. Plus, ito namang moment 2, determinant ulit. So, first row, i, j, k, and then second row, yung element ni r2, 4, 5, negative 2, and then third row, yung element ng force f2, 80, 40, negative 30. Okay? And then, applying ulit yung pagkuha ng determinant 
nitong 3 by 3 matrix using yung IJK component, we have, so for I, determinant ng 5, 0, 40, 20, then minus J, determinant ni 0, 0, negative 60, 20, plus K, determinant this time 0, 5, negative 60, 40. Then para sa moment 2, plus I ole determinant ni 5, negative 2, 40, negative 30, minus J, determinant ni 4, negative 2, 80, negative 30, plus K, determinant ni 4, 5, 80, 40. And then, applying yung formula for the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix, we have I times 5 times 20 minus 0 times 40 minus J times 0 times 20 minus 0 times negative 60 plus K times 0 times 40 minus negative 60 times 5 plus I times 5 times negative 30 minus 40 times negative 2 minus J 4 times negative 30 minus 80 times negative 2 plus K times 4 times 40 minus 80 times 5. Okay, so isa-isay natin. Simplify natin to sa I. So, 5 times 20 minus 0, right? So, 100i. Then, minus j. So, 0 minus 0. So, 0. So, parang cancel na siya. Right? And then, itong k. k times 0 minus negative 60 times 5. So, positive 300, right? So, plus 300k. Then, plus sa i. 5 times negative 30, negative 150 minus 40 times negative 2. So, negative 150 plus 80. Ilan yun? 70. Negative 70. So, minus 70i. And then, minus j times. So, 4 times negative 30 is negative 120 minus 80 times negative 2. So, plus 160. So, negative 120 plus 160 is what? Positive 40. So, negative j times positive 40. So, minus 40j. Then, last for k. 4 times 40 is 160. 80 times 5 is 400. So, 160 minus 400 is what? Negative 240. So, minus 240k. Then, combining similar terms further, 100i minus 70i is what? 30i. Then, si j minus 40j lang. Then, 300k minus 240k is what? Positive 60k. So, therefore, ito yung resultant moment natin. 30i minus 40j plus 60k. Ang unit is pound feet. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, resultant moment. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.